currently 1.43 a.m. Yep. Let's um, all get out. Get we brought out. a black guy. We're not racist. <laughs> I'm going to keep that in there. Um, this is uh, my best friend, Ben Hamilton. Wow. Who is um, black? Wow. You're just wow. my roommate. Really? <laughs> Moonlight shouldn't have won. Um, I'm salty, not because of what happened, but because after I said three times not to say anything about it, <laughs> he Ben still proceeded said it. to talk about it, and now I'll never know. See... Best Picture. That's the most prestigious award a movie can get. Like, how would I feel watching that happen? Well, now I'll never know because Ben effed it up. I can't wait to edit this out. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, that stays in. That's in. Going back to the main subject at hand, we saw Get Out directed by Jordan Peele. He, uh, everyone knows him from the show Key and Peele, and then they did a movie last year called Keanu, which I which liked. Which was great. The movie is about Daniel and uh, this girl, Allison. These are the actors and actresses' names. Um, I'm going to be saying... And they go to the girlfriend's parents' house. And he feels awkward because they don't know that he's black. And Been there, done that. And Sucks. that's why I brought this guy here, so he can relate. Um, and basically what happens, and I won't ruin anything, is that a lot of stuff, crazy stuff happens. And I'll admit to this, I thought it was going to be one of the worst movies of the year. Um, I was like, I hate yeah. this. I hate this trailer. And, and then at some point I was like, you know, this movie could actually be one of the most unique films of the year. And then this guy was always saying, nope, screw you. It's not. And then he finally started to come he around. Watched it, and then he watched it again. And then he watched, watched it, it again. He it three Tonight times. was his third time watching it. Three times because it's that good. And this dude knows better than anyone because I give him crap for doing this all the time. I'm not one to watch movies more than even twice these days because I like saving money. Money. Now, but is it a race thing? <laughs> it may or may not have something to do with the fact that the movie is centered around black people, but as the Oscars... Sorry, we're not going to talk about the Oscars. I've seen them. The direct answer to your question, roommate number one, is no. Okay. Because not a race if thing. I cared about race in movies, I would have nominated Moonlight for Best Picture, but I didn't. <laughs> Just a couple positives I have are the acting from Daniel... I'm going to butcher the last name. Kulula? Kulula. Kulula. And Alice Williams and Bradley Whitford. <laughs> uh, Bradley Whitford was probably my favorite. He was the guy who played the creepy white dad that's trying to be cool and hip with the black boyfriend. This thing going on. This, mm, this, this thing. thing. <laughs> the next one is the score. It was mm -hmm. it was very mm -hmm. different. It, it mm -hmm. had a couple different genres, honestly, in it. Um, <laughs> like yeah, like it had like a weird yeah. it had a weird guitar Especially vibe. the opening. The opening yeah, it had a classic song. And then right after that, a weird by a creepy song, western... Followed by another... It had like a western guitar vibe, and then it integrated these weird cliche horror sounds in the score that you would assume that would be in. and But it just worked. Next one is... Uh, I'll save that one for later, actually. The next one is the build-up throughout the film. Yes. Like, when about when 25 minutes started going, it started to pick up, yep. pick up pick up, pick up, and just kept on elevating and elevating. You didn't think it was going to keep on going, but it did. And Literally, there's sometimes in movies where something will build up, and then it'll pull back, and then it'll build up, and then it'll pull back, and then it'll just have this like climactic finale, mm -hmm. which is great, but this movie literally just went like this. There was one scene that was like, oh my gosh, but it literally just kept going and going and going. Extended and extended. And, extended. my gosh, the last ten minutes alone mm -hmm. is worth... Uh, the ticket admission. That that brings me on to my next positive: the reveals and the the twists, the final mm -hmm. moments of the film. Last positive is the meaning behind the film. I feel like it is very socially prevalent in this time. Um, Jordan Peele did a spectacular job showing what society to him, in a deeper deeper meaning, um, is like in his in his eyes. And I think he did he had a great original idea and he had a great execution. The most important part and. Yeah. It's just, I love that. Those are my positive. Positive. Uh, positive for you. Daniel Kaluuya, the main, the main actor in the mm -hmm. movie, and Allison Williams, the main actress in the movie, plays Rose, the girlfriend. I really want to see them in more movies. They were absolutely fantastic. The twists and turns, <laughs> the twists and turns, the reveals, um, and just the last, the last like 10 to 15 minutes of the movie. Yeah, um, I enjoyed the reveals too. Yeah, just. 
all that stuff. We'll do that. Okay, because we're already on negatives. We'll see. Score. Okay. Sorry. Negatives. You guys both woke up on the wrong side of the beds, didn't you? Shut I was at camp free for five days. You had heard me talk to you all those times I talked to you. <laughs> You're me and me more. Okay. <laughs> Negatives. Um, it was a little bit of weird pacing um, in the in the opening uh, for the first act, kind of. Uh, it was just, I don't know, I didn't really, wasn't really grabbing my attention. Last negative I have is that it had some typical horror cliche jump scares. My score is Stellar Bro. Really? Yeah, okay. but Stellar Bro because overall I... I think the execution was breathtaking. Okay. Um, Jordan Peele's execution on the camera, which I never knew he actually had the ability to do that, and the writing. Um, I felt the writing was, I didn't touch up on that, but the screenplay in this film, awesome. Watch this movie if you want a bit of old fashioned horror. I think this movie's style of horror was actually kind of antiquitous. Watch this movie if you're up for having some really bizarre conversations after watching a movie. <laughs> Watch this movie if you're white or black. Both. And don't watch this movie if you uh, need your movie to pick up the pace quickly. <laughs> it takes its time. It's for good reason, but it takes its time. If you need the rubber to hit the road fast, don't watch this. Don't watch it if you're scared easy. And don't watch this movie if your favorite part of the trailer was the deer. <laughs> yeah. Out of 10, out of, yeah, out of 10 then. I'm so tired. 9.6 out of 10. That's high. 9.6? That's, That's a solid eight. Wow, you love it more than me. Well, it's because you're... Yeah, say it. black. Get out! Please keep that in your final. Oh, oh, God. oh, gosh. No.